Okay, so so Kurt, I heard you say that you worked in the travel business for several years and organized uh, safaris. Um, and um, how was that for you? Well, first of all, I was uh, I'm since 18 in that travel business, and I now I'm 67. Mm -hmm. I'm out of my working uh, life, but still I uh, keep an eye on what's going on in tourism. Okay. And the key word actually is tourism and sustainability. Okay. And uh, this is a topic that um, can really uh, make you think a lot. Okay. So when you say sustainability, uh, what does that mean for you related to, to travel and well, tourism? We all have the urge to go to places and see new uh, countries and new cultures. Mm -hmm. And uh, it has shown that this is not always... Um, a good uh, a good outcome actually uh, when too many let's call it strangers or tourists go to the same place and uh, uh, somehow uh, overpopulate those places in the sense uh, you have heard maybe of over tourism yeah and this is not only happening in cities like Venice and Amsterdam and uh, you, you name it. It's, it can also happen in, in very remote areas okay. where each tourist thinks he is the only one who is there mm -hmm. or who is interested in foreign uh, cultures or... For, for, or or uh, tribes or whatever yeah but uh, if one tourist behaves wrongly then this spoils the whole tribe or the whole area mm -hmm. because then people always have a tendency to see you as a tourist mm -hmm. as a money uh, giver yeah. let's say it that way and the whole hospitality is is fading away because they are, they understand very quickly that uh, with money uh, they can get to their personal benefits. Yep. And um, so the people, uh, yeah, people go uh, go uh, the easy way at the end, like we do as well in the West. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I'm a little bit reluctant to uh, to send everybody to faraway places just to satisfy their personal um, interests.